Early in the pandemic, herd immunity was often referred to as the long-term goal in the fight against COVID-19, the disease caused by the coronavirus. Epidemiologists refer to herd immunity as the tipping point, when enough people are protected from the virus that the community can return to routine life. But variants of the virus and low vaccination rates have prolonged that goal. Herd immunity is when a significant portion of a community is immune to an infectious disease, making it harder for the disease to spread. Herd immunity offers the entire community protection and can be achieved either through recovery from a previous infection or through vaccination. Once people gain protection from an infectious disease such as COVID-19, it makes it more difficult for the disease to spread within the community, even to those unable to get vaccinated due to serious allergic reactions to the vaccines. Public health officials say it is unknown how long herd immunity may last. The percentage of people who need to be vaccinated to achieve herd immunity depends on the disease. For instance, about 95% of a population needs to be vaccinated to reach herd immunity for measles. For polio, it's about 80%. It is currently unknown how many people need to be vaccinated for COVID-19 to gain herd immunity, which is complicated by individual vaccine hesitancy and uneven rollout and access to the vaccines. Still, health officials say vaccination remains key in preventing people from becoming seriously ill or dying from COVID-19. Also wearing masks and practicing social distancing. <laughs>